Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. Um, so this video is definitely a lot more process driven rather than um, focusing on the end result. Uh, mainly because I wasn't super thrilled with the end result of this painting. Um, I did, however, introduce a new camera angle, which I'm really excited about. Um, I think that it really creates an interesting perspective um, for everyone because I mean I know that it's kind of hard to tell what's going on uh, with the camera being way overhead like that. So um, I mounted the camera to the end of my tray underneath it so you can kind of see the I guess the canvas eye view instead of bird's eye view, canvas eye view. Anyways, uh, let me talk a little bit first about this gradient. Um, I decided to move away from the pink and the orange, yellow and white for a little bit um, just to change it up. And I thought I was going to do like a black in the center and then the blue around the outside. And I thought it was going to be, it was going to be really dramatic in my head anyways. Um, and so I spent a lot of time just, you know, trying to get the gradient right. Um, this uh, spray paint part is probably a little bit longer than it needs to be, um, but there's just so much footage of it. I mean, this uh, spray painting thing is really difficult. I just, I'm having a hard time mastering it. It's a, a steeper learning curve than, you know, the paint pouring. Um, and then result really, like, it was just like... It wasn't as dramatic as I thought it was going to be. I was a little um, a bit sad about it. And I think another problem that I had was I decided that I was going to seal it with this like spray sealer stuff. And first of all, this stuff is super smelly. I highly recommend that you go outside if you spray it. Um, luckily, I had uh, had a, a relatively warm day, so I was able to go outside with it. Um, but the canvas still stunk for days afterwards, and it, it kind of made it really bumpy. I mean, the spray paint at first uh, makes the canvas bumpy, and the spray varnish made my canvas even bumpier, and it made it stinky, and just overall not super impressed with it. So I'm not going to be using the spray varnish again, at least not for this particular application. Uh, so by the end of this, you can see that my gradient not dramatic and kind of patchy so a little bit disappointed but that's okay i mean it, it really it was about the camera uh, mounted the back of the tray uh, right here i decided that i was going to do my little puddle in a separate tray and kind of splash it over the canvas and right after i did that i discovered that i got my recipe a little bit wrong i put too much floetrol in and i got a lot more cells than i would have liked just reinforces the fact that I really got to start measuring out my recipes rather than just flying by the seat of my pants. Um, but the most interesting part of the about this video is really the camera. I mean, I used, you know, those like 12 packs of Ferrara Rochers. I used the lid off of that and an old iPhone. Uh, I think it's like an iPhone 7 or something. And I kind of just MacGyvered that to the back of my tray and I got this really cool shot. I mean, the big problem here was that I was so focused on the camera on the back that I didn't really worry about the ribbon so much, and the ribbon isn't my best, but I think the, the camera angle is really cool, so like hopefully next time I use this camera, I won't be thinking about it as much and making a better ribbon. Anyways, I'm interested to know what you think about this camera angle. Um, and if I should do another one. So thanks for tuning in and watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel and hit that bell button for notifications because apparently it's a thing. I also wanted to mention that I'm on TikTok now. Um, it's like this short format video app thing. Apparently it's all the rage. Uh, anyways. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.